Hello everyone, Forgotten here, and today we're gonna be yapping about Chrono Style, aka the upcoming style to UBG, so let's get right into it, chat. Before the video begins, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get to 100k by the end of this year, and it would be very amazing, so if you could do that real quick, it would mean the world to me. Thank you. So yeah, in case you don't know, in about two weeks' time, a legendary style will be added to UBG, and it's gonna be Chronos. And Drowning has been hinting at this for quite some time now. So it has been hinted in the, in the recent updates, and if you look at the server, you read the channel, it says it has a, and then soon, the clock emoji, something like that. That is essentially Chronos, because Chronos is god of time. Essentially, if you don't know what I'm yapping about. Well, in case you don't know, Chrono Style is based off of Itadaki Manabu from Hajime no Ippo. And if you haven't watched it, watched the anime, you probably should. Or we'll just read some of the manga to get a more detailed uh, feel for the for the character. Essentially, he's a little silly boy who's uh, training at the same gym as Ippo, and he's a pretty decent guy. He's been working towards getting his belts and whatever the frick not. But he's still pretty much an amateur, which is kind of concerning for this style. All right, child. Let's begin it. Let's begin with my concerns for this style so this style is basically just improved hands low because in the manga he fights the guy who uses hands low speed star and uh, he wins so essentially chronos is a speed type style so you have very very fast speed and ref reflexes and dodges so basically we have freedom movement on this style jesus christ probably gonna have speed equal to freedom or maybe even better I, I don't really think it should be better but it might be better I don't know imagine freedom a little mode whirlwind mode that's essentially what your speed is gonna be now I don't know if there's gonna be some sort of an ability for dodging because he also does a lot of dodges to the sides a lot of sway back stuff like that in the manga so but we have another style variant with sway back I don't know Chad but one thing's for sure the dodges are gonna have to be insane on this style because he dodges pretty much every part right so yeah next up we have my first concern for this style and that is Itadaki's punching power in the manga he even lands a couple of counters because he likes to counter people because you know his speed and everything but those counters don't really do that much damage so he is known to have prickly aka hedgehog punches that's what he calls his little barrage of punches he calls a hedgehog right because his punches are apparently spiky but the problem is they're not really that strong and they really don't do damage because it takes a lot of punches for him to, to put on some damage on somebody and he also doesn't really knock people down with ease at all so I think that's very noticeable. Even in this fight against uh, some random guy I don't know the exact name but essentially he broke his hand in a fight which is kind of crazy to think about. You have insane punching speed chat. Insane punching speed. But your punches literally don't do any damage so I think it's gonna be like E equivalent to hands low m1 damage or counter m1 damage just yeah i don't know i don't know another very important thing to note about this style is the fact that he is a literal blast jaw guy in the manga like this guy falls after every punch every stronger hit gets him knocked down pretty much his toughness is okay like we've seen him in the in the manga a couple of times he could like stand up after some epo punches but essentially in every match he pretty much gets knocked out pretty pretty fast and doesn't really put up much of a fight and i'm assuming it's gonna probably be like shotgun you know how it takes increased counter damage in the manga he does not use his guard pretty much at all he always just relies on his speed and reflexes to dodge every hit instinctively it's been working out till it catches him then he pretty much gets knocked down so we're probably gonna be seeing a very very weak weak guard now my concern is with this style it has a little bit too much negatives and a little bit too little positives in order to be a legendary because when you think about a legendary style it should be a style that works efficiently you know stuff like that but in reality Itadaki Manabu's style is just not the go. I mean, yes sure you will have the best movement in the game and the best dodging ability in the game probably but my issue with that is what's the point of all of that if you can barely knock down your opponent you can dodge like 10 punches from your opponent right but if your opponent can like equalize the match with like two hits like that's a bit you know what i'm saying like so essentially yes we have a literal glass cannon chat and i don't think that's too good i don't think we need more styles like that now here's a little interesting part you see in the manga he has his little own ability which i believe might be used as his actual ability but in the manga he enters this little space so he like he's apparently so fast that 
is he he goes into a different dimension of speed and this it sounds fucking crazy when you think about it right so basically we have a time stop ability chat i think that ability would be the only thing that can save this stop realistically right because if you can stop time you know like that for a couple of seconds because you're fast and land a couple of punches and you can probably land your ultimate that might save this time and make it broken right because when you look at the attributes the speed is good the, the, the dodging is good but the strength is horrid the defense is horrid the guard is horrid all of that the damage is horrid like when you look at that it's not really looking appealing right i don't know is it too broken to add let me know in the comments down below but i think that would be the only ability that would like make this style worth being a legendary but yeah that is pretty much the only thing chad that's left to discuss there's nothing really else about this guy uh i mean he's i it's gonna be a night style i think it's gonna be okay but i really don't think that it's gonna be anything crazy honestly if it's gonna be the way that it's in the manga, I, I don't think you guys should be so hyped for it. I know this is probably bad for me to say, but I, I don't, I, I'm not really looking forward to this style. But as you already know, when it's out, you're gonna see it on my channel first, and we're gonna review it together. We're gonna go yap about it. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, chat, and let me know how you feel it in the comments down below. Um, mwah. <laughs> Crazy thumbnail for the video I'm sending you right now. War. This one finna be tough to edit. Really, just some Michael, like in the don't leave me and here. That, that stuff. I'm getting Make the vid. Michael, five to six minutes.